Welcome back to Diamond Kings Baseball and Softball. In our previous segment, we talked about our basic throwing mechanics. So oftentimes, young players come in and want a pitching lesson or want to work out with one of our, with one of our staff members to work on pitching. And unless they can throw the ball hard on flat ground, it's very difficult to translate it out to the mound when we start to add in a little bit more movement and, and, some, and some new fundamental skill. Once you've got your throwing mechanics perfected on flat ground and you're able to, to hit spots with your four seam fastball, one, two, three, and four, then it's time to move on the mound and practice your pitching mechanics. At Diamond Kings Baseball and Softball, we talk about a six step pitching checklist. Lance Stevens is back with us again. Uh, as you remember him from our previous throwing segment, Lance is going to get us through our six steps. I'm going to explain each one, Lance is going to demonstrate, and then we'll put it all together at the end. First step, our hangout position. You'll see Lance is at the zipper of your body. His hands are about heart height. You'll see that his thumbs are together. Young players oftentimes like to start in this position. We recommend the youngest players to start square just like so. It's going to make for a nice, easy takeaway out of your glove that we'll talk about, talk about in a little bit. For our older players, if you want to start any way you want, go ahead. As long as you get to a good throwing position before you fire the glove. So we're going to start right here, that's step one. At this point, once Lance takes his side from his pitcher, he takes a good, a good deep breath, a power breath. As we'll see all big league pitchers in minor league and awesome college pitchers do, and he's ready to go. From here, we move on to step two. Step two is our rocker step. Our rocker step is a small step back and to the left. The rocker step is only used to get our left foot out of the way so our right foot can turn into step three. So next is going to demonstrate the rocker step. Step three is we pivot and put our, put our foot against the rubber, or especially on Lily Fields with that giant hole that's in there. Four is going to be our leg lift. Lance is going to lift his leg with his hip. So oftentimes, pitchers will lift it with a different part of their body. So Lance lifting it with his hip, you'll see that his heel will stay relatively close to his leg. Now I'm going to show you a couple of funky ways that we can do it. Lance is going to lift with his toe, which is going to cause a problem when he goes to the plate. He's going to swing the old barn door open and leak on his front side. Lance can lift with his knee, which is not as severe. But again, when he goes to home plate, you'll see that this is what leads to home plate. When Lance lifts with his hip, his heel will stay close to his leg. He'll be able to come back down to the ground, almost back down to the ground, and then go to step five. So if you go to step five, you'll see that his front foot is slightly closed. Lance is exaggerating a little bit. For 15, 20 degrees, again, your preference closed. You'll see that he's looking over his shoulder, his hips, his knees, his ankles are all lined up with the target. His shoulders are slightly uphill. And we want to make sure we're slightly uphill for this reason. We want to use our lower half to generate arm speed. If Lance was downhill, you can see that he'd have to throw the baseball immediately and not be able to use his lower body very well. Or if he did use his lower body, that ball would spike probably 15 feet in front of us. So we're going to be slightly uphill. He's looking over his shoulder. His elbows are bent. They're uniform on each side. His body mirrors. One side mirrors the other. So we're going to put it all together down to step six. And then we're going to talk about step six. So Lance, let's go through one through five. I'm going to walk you through at a good tempo. We got one. We'll take our deep breaths. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. This time Lance is going to throw the baseball. He's going to stay with my cadence. And you'll see how nice and clean this delivery looks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. One more time. And, and understand, you see the cadence. After he takes his power breath, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Very important to stay in the group. Go ahead, Lance. One, two, three, four, five, six. So oftentimes, young players have such a difficult time going from four to five. We see it every day. We see it hundreds and hundreds of times a year. Young players come in, they lift their leg up, they don't get step number five where we get to a good launch position to throw the baseball, and all of a sudden their body's all aligned, they're not in their lane, their head flies open, their front shoulder flies open, we got the flapjack arm, Any, anything and everything can go bad when we don't have step five. So I want Lance to stop at step five and demonstrate in this, in this split second if we were to freeze, we're going to freeze him, but if we were to stop the frame, what step five would look like so you can see it and practice it with your frame. One, two, 
three, four, five. Very good. This is what happens. So many guys lose step six. Front foot's open, toes put into the, to the target, front arms up here. Now you can see how badly we expose the elbow and our shoulder. We want to try to protect those and let our lower body and our core turn our turn our throat. Let's get back to normal. And we'll put it all together one more time. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Very good. And six is just like we talked about with our throwing mechanics. We're going to make sure we go between one and two o'clock. We're throwing our four seam grip right here. We're going, to, we're going to come across our body. We don't want to slam on the brakes of our body, uh, of our shoulder. It's the muscles that we have to accelerate our shoulder. We have muscles that decelerate. So we want to make sure we throw the ball. We're on real strong and then off to let our body uh, and our shoulder slow down with no impingements and allow for a safe and healthy replay. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, please give us a call at Diamond Games in Bristol or Enfield. Come work with one of our pitching instructors. We'd love to see you.